Two women are now publicly accusing Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill of inappropriately touching them at a party back in March. This morning, we're walking you through how this has unfolded. The party was held on March 15th to mark the end of the legislative session. That's when State Representative Mara Candelaria Reardon says she was groped by the Attorney General. Also, the Senate Democrats spokeswoman has spoken out, saying she's a victim. Now, nearly two months later, on May 14th, legislative leaders of both parties were made aware of these accusations. Over the next three days, the women who made the allegations were interviewed. On June 18th, the special counsel brought in by lawmakers emailed a report to the director of the Indiana Legislative Services Agency. Hill officially learned of the allegations himself a week ago Friday during a conference call with legislative leaders. This week, allegations became public on Monday. On Tuesday, Indiana Democratic leaders started calling for Hill's resignation. Governor Holcomb joined them in that on Thursday. And yesterday, the Indiana Inspector General announced her office will conduct an investigation into the allegations. Hill continues to say he will not resign. He's calling for a fair and thorough investigation. Now, the victims, the alleged victims with the accusations are no longer anonymous. Both published op-eds talking about what they say happened. State Representative Candelaria Reardon says the Attorney General's conduct was deviant. And then the spokeswoman for Senate Democrats, Gabby McElmore, claims the Attorney General cornered her and massaged her back. Happening today, an organized show of support for the alleged victims. A rally is planned in front of the Indiana State House. That's where News 8's Julia Dang joins us live with details about what is planned. Julia, good morning. Good morning, Drew. Yeah, the rally is scheduled to start in a couple hours, and once it starts, it's likely going to be an all day event. Protesters tell me they want to keep this going until the attorney general steps down. They say this is part of a larger movement advocating for victims' rights. They say they understand the concept of due process when it comes to the accused. They want to create an environment where the accusers feel safe coming forward with their side of the story. Protest organizers tell me they fully expect even more women to go public about Curtis Hill because the accusations point to something that's often part of a pattern of behavior. Here's what rally leader Annette Gross had to say. It seemed pretty disgusting to me, and and the fact that four women came, you know, came forward. You know, if it was one woman, there could be a question. You know, four women came forward and made these allegations. It's too coincidental. Gross does not personally know the four women who came forward, and she added she doesn't know if they may know each other. Hill did issue a statement in response to the allegations. You can see portions of it quoted on your screen right now. You can read it in full on our website, wishtv.com. He denied the claims and said he refuses to resign. And talking about a public figure and a political figure here, protesters want to make it clear what they're doing today is a nonpartisan rally. You heard from one of the featured speakers earlier in the morning. She's open about being a registered Republican. She voted for Hill. She says their protest is not political. Back to you, Drew.